Alright guys, so just a quick update. <clears throat> I've got the bodies printed now. I have uh, had to do it a couple times just because some of my measurements weren't quite good enough to uh, make this fit onto the connector as smoothly as I wanted it to. So, again the keying is all there so they won't go on unless you have them positioned correctly i.e. the right way around okay and then the plan is to take headers like this and these are going to get installed in here okay and that's what's going to then interface with the pins on the ECU. So there's just these pins on the back side, so that's what we can solder the harness to. And then this this whole uh, trench will get potted with uh, potting resin uh, to seal it all off. And maybe I'll make a cover too, just to clean it up a little bit more. Um, I've also got the uh, engine harness side worked out too. This took a couple prints to get right, uh, but everything's spaced correctly now. So this guy interfaces with the uh, um, engine harness just great. So I think this is going to work. It is pretty thin, but I think once I get the rest of it uh, worked out, it'll be strong enough. Um, so the plan for this is to use um, breakout pins. And I'm going to solder those to a PCB like this. <clears throat> and then that'll get bonded to the back side of the printed connector. And so it'll hold the pins like this in there. So the next step is um, I got to. So this is this was just for fitment checks. So the actual one, I'll have to add some material to this side. Uh, such that when the pins are soldered to the board and it's glued to the back, the pins are at the right depth internal to the cavity so that the connector can actually interface with the harness side and not bottom out. You know, you want the cam lock on the top to actually be able to seat the connector all the way. So we got to set the, set the height on the pins correctly. But that shouldn't be too difficult to do. And once I get that, then uh, I'll print another uh, real set of the of these connectors here, and then I should be able to just make a quick harness, and uh, and then we can plug it into the car and and make sure that we don't have any uh, you know connectivity issues uh, with these pins. <clears throat> so that'll be an important thing to to test out and make sure that that we don't uh, have intermittent intermittent connectivity but I, I, I stuck this into the <clears throat> engine harness uh, side connector and it feels good so I think we'll be okay but I'm gonna test it just to make sure so hopefully I'll get to work on this some more this weekend <laughs>